Hello and welcome back to A Shot of Wildlife. In today's video, I'm going to tell you almost everything you need to know about the Spoonbill. Just 15 years ago, Spoonbills were extinct as a breeding bird in the UK and hadn't successfully nested here since 1668. Birds from mainland Europe did attempt to breed in 1997, but it wasn't until 2010 that a successful colony formed on the Norfolk coast. Now, there are about 70 pairs in the country, with nests in Suffolk, Norfolk, Cambridgeshire, Essex, Yorkshire and Cumbria. Spoonbills are quite large, with wingspans of 115 to 135 centimetres and growing to weigh 1.1 to 2 kilos. They stand at almost a metre tall, and aside from the white feathers that cover most of their bodies, they have a couple of other striking features. These include a plume of white feathers from the back of their heads, a yellow throat in the nesting season, and of course, a spoon-shaped bill. Although it may look a bit cartoon-like, this bill is highly adapted, with the tip being full of sensitive nerves that helps them to find their prey. To do this, they move slowly through the water, constantly swishing their bills from side to side. When a small creature is detected, the bill slams shut, allowing the bird to lift and then swallow whatever it is caught. Their prey includes amphibians, crustaceans, invertebrates and even small fish. Spoonbills will sometimes work together when feeding, moving in the same direction in a line. Spoonbills begin to pair up from early March onwards, performing bill rubbing, grooming and sometimes splaying their crest feathers. Once a pair has formed, males collect twigs which the females use to construct large platform nests, sometimes on islands but also in bushes or trees close to water and often alongside herons and cormorants. After the nest is complete and as long as there is plenty of food available, she'll lay between two and four white eggs. This is usually around April, but can be as late as June if there isn't enough food earlier in the year. Both adults incubate the eggs for 24 to 25 days when the fluffy white chicks will hatch. These are unofficially known as teaspoons, and I'm definitely in support of that becoming their official name. At first, their bills are chunky, but not spatula shaped. It takes around two weeks for them to gradually become so. Both parents feed the teaspoons in the nest, and by 45 to 50 days, they are ready to fledge. Young birds stay with their parents for several months after fledging, whilst they learn to fend for themselves, and they may even stay together throughout the winter. It takes three to four years for spoonbills to reach maturity, and they'll often pick a new mate every year. In some parts of their range, spoonbills migrate south for the winter, traveling to Portugal or even to the west coast of Africa. But birds in the UK don't tend to travel so far, and will often overwinter in the south of this country. Alongside our resident breeding birds, some that overwinter here migrate from Northern Europe to do so, before mostly heading back in the spring. From early reports, it's looking like 2024 has been a brilliant year for spoonbills, with them nesting in new places and in greater numbers. Hopefully, this trend will continue and more people will be able to see these exotic looking birds. There isn't much data for how long they live, but captive spoonbills have been known to live for more than 30 years. And that's all for today, but if you did enjoy this video then you'll probably also like this one here with things you need to know about the little egret. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.